Hello, my name is Walker Heckman with Rocky Mountain Hunting Adventures and this is a video on coyote howlers. Now a lot of people say you know just use distress calls don't need to use the coyote howler and a lot of people say you know the coyote howler saves my life and if I didn't have the coyote howler I would not be killing many coyotes. <laughs> to be honest I've only used the howler a few times now and we've killed a coyote a couple times we've killed one coyote a couple times that we went with it and before when we were just using the fox pro distress calls and some howls off the fox pro we only killed two coyotes i think so and that's over like a series of like 10 different sets so i think the howler is a good idea honestly it helps so you got the coyote you know the sound of the coyote away from the dying rabbit but anyways, this is what my collar looks like. It is the Randy Anderson Edition Primo's Hot Dog. I got this at my local Shields. I don't know if you guys have Shields, but it's a pretty sweet store. And it uh, cost me $30. 30 or $35, I believe. It was a great call. It is a great call. There's a wooden version. So this black plastic, it's wooden. I think it costs a little more, but... It they sound the same from all the reviews I looked at, so I was like, oh, let's go with a cheaper one. But, uh, basically, this is a hyper lip call, just like Primo's elk calls. Like the I make of the bull crazy. They're the same thing, but this one's a little looser, so you can get them deeper barks. But this, I'm gonna get sidetracked on you for a second. The Primo's I make of the bull crazy. Um, cow elk call, you know. If you have one of these laying around as you bow hunt elk, you could save yourself by not having to buy a Primo's little dog. Because this actually sounds like a coyote pup if you use it the right way. You know, the high-pitched, you know, coyote pup. As with this call, is more for, you know, calling, you know, alpha dogs, you know. It's a good call, I have to say. And I was even playing around with it a little bit. And you can use it as a um, deer grunt. Pretty cool. Or even a cow call if you're good. It's hard to use as a cow call, but um, and this, you might be wondering, you know, what is that green thing hanging out there with rubber bands? I actually got this. This is what the actual, you know, this is all that comes with it. But I rubber banded this little Sirs dying rabbit call. <coughs> on there, so I got this little dual system. You know, I can howl right here. I can flip it around and use the dying rabbit. I love how I did that. It's a great setup. That way you're not fiddling around your pockets, finding your other call, or fiddling around your neck, finding your other call. But anyways, I would highly recommend. I mean, I haven't used other coyote howlers, so I couldn't tell you which one's the best. Price compared to the couple I've looked at, I mean, the, the Primo's Hot Dog is a freaking good call. So check into that. And uh, remember... We got lots of new videos coming out. We got lots of predator hunting videos. We got chasing coyotes across this big lake. Um, all kinds of reviews. We got my Remington Model 700 right back there we're going to have a review on. It's going to be great. Long line of videos all through the winter. Not going dead just because it's winter here in Montana. Snowing like crazy out there. Big old drift. A little windy. It's going to be great predator hunting season. Anyways. Buy the hot dog. <laughs> it's a good call. And, uh, you know, subscribe to Rocky Mountain Hunting Adventures. And you won't be disappointed because we got all kinds of new videos coming out that you are going to love. Enjoy.